Let's begin. Class limits. The scariest topic of them all. Yeah, it takes some time, you know. Uh, this is a traditional one, or you can go something like this. Not Oppo. <laughs> No, Coco. Oh, man, I'm wasting my time with this. No! It's Mugiwara Luffy. Straw hat. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Let's go, let's go. Alright, so first and foremost, how do you reach infinity? You can reach infinity in multiple ways. The most famous of them all is, of course, x plus a very large number. Okay, 1 plus 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 1. You get the idea. You get to infinity. That's one way. How's the other way? You multiply two by two. <laughs> it's kind of the same thing. It means adding up. Okay, another way of for you to reach infinity is the most famous one is power. 2 power of 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 2 and 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 2 You get the idea You reach infinity Bravo Of course the other one is a bit weird Never mind I'll touch I'll touch that one later The other one will be when you divide by a small number, no, mm. one divided by, if one divided by 0 0.1, one divided by 0 0.01, one divided by 0 0.001, 1000. So one divided by a very very zero point zero 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 one you reach to infinity. Are you okay? Of course I can say a very special case for lawn. What can we say about lawn? A little bit of trivia. You reach this one. It goes until where? Negative infinity. This one here, although it rises very slowly, it goes until where? Positive infinity. It's a very special case for long. Although it rises slowly, it will reach infinity one day, inshallah. So now comes to the biggest, biggest misconception of all. What about 1 over 0? Why is it mass error? Why is it, why, why 1 over 0 is mass error? Because one over zero, well, because it's mass error, because it means infinity, sir. I mean, if you if you have a look on the graph, if you do one over x, it goes something like this, right? 
and then you rise up like what you did just now zero divided by 0 0.1 divided by 0 0 0 0 0.1 zero, 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 zero. it goes until it goes until infinity so 1 over 0 is infinity right no not infinity <laughs> You will never reach infinity. It just makes error. It just makes error. Something that won't happen in life. Okay? It's like you just watching your crush without saying anything. The person will never like you back. <laughs> just by watching, she'll be mine. Just by watching, he won't be yours. Forget about it. I hear ouch over there. <laughs> it won't happen. But, but, there's something called a zero positive. And there's something called a zero negative. To, to be more exact, it means zero from the right. Yes. It also means zero from the left. What does it mean, sir? It means if I go further, if I explaining further to you, what happens if one divided by negative zero point one? Negative ten. One divided by negative zero point zero one. Negative hundred. 1 divided by negative 0 0.000. You get the idea. If we reach to negative infinity. So how do we draw this graph? It looks something like this. You can put y, you can put x. It reached until negative infinity. There are many ways for me to tell you that 1 over 0 is not infinity, it's max error. It's by if you're looking, if I come from the right, it goes infinity. If I go from the left, it goes negative infinity. Since right and left going to a different direction, that's why we are saying 1 over 0 is max error undefined. Understand that? But right now, if I am being more specific, I'm going the 0 from the right, going to the if I go zero from the right, it goes until infinity. So in this case, for 1 over x, 1 over, zero of, 1 over 0 from the right, it goes to positive infinity. What about 0 from the left? It goes to negative infinity. What I would like to tell you is, it depends on the on the on this one as well. 1 over 0 is max error, not infinity. You need to know that one. But, for 1 over x, 0 from the right give me positive infinity. We do it this way just now. I calculate for you. For 1 over x, 0 from the left, it goes to negative infinity. 0 from the right and 0 from the left, it means totally different things. Understand? If you get confused how to calculate, sir, do like how I calculate to you just now. Okay? Now let me throw you one more question. What about 1 over x? And then as usual, sir, Rodi la. Ta da! <laughs> That's a negative. <laughs> Yeah, just a little bit of annoying to you. Just I'm trying to stress again. The negative up there or negative down there. Basically, they means the same thing. 1 over x graph is something like this. So what about this graph? I got confused. Lah. To balik how? Left, right, up, down. If you ever get confused in exams, do like how we did just now. 
0.1 negative 0. Point, sorry, negative 10 0 0.01 negative 100 negative 0 0.001 negative 1000 the other one, let's try negative 0 0.1 10 negative negative 0 0.01 100 negative negative 0 0.001 negative 1000 are you still alive? One question for you. This one here it means zero from the right, zero from the right or zero from the left. On the right, as you can see. Well, uh, you you moving to the right. This one here. So you can say here zero from the right, zero from the left. Or you get confused, you can draw them up. It goes down. This one here. He goes up. You okay? So I want to say to you, four. 1 over x negative alright for this case what do I get for 1 over 0 this one give, will give me what sorry sorry negative 1 over 0 give me what max error very good you cannot divide by 0 But what about zero from the right? Negative infinity. What about zero from the left? You give me? Positive infinity. Okay, I might miss this now. I forgot to say negative, 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 negative become positive. Moral of the story here, it means here, it means this. Zero from the right does not necessarily give me positive infinity. As you can see in these two examples, they are different. You need to calculate them out. Zero from the left doesn't necessarily mean give me negative infinity. Understand? How do we get a different answers? Well, it depends on the negative, how they interact. Okay? The main idea why I want to sell you, 1 over 0 does not mean infinity. But 0 from the right and 0 from the left might give me something else. Understand? How do we reach infinity? Either you add them up, you power them up, or you divide by a very, very, very small number. Okay, so those are the basics.